Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates. Today, we are going to talk about this new journey of yours, which yes. is directing. Yes. Or complaining. Or complaining. Or both. No, I've been complaining for many more years than I've been directing. Do you have more to complain about with directing or performing? Ooh. Directing. Producing. Yeah. Produ that's the Producing. thing. Producing. Because in our industry, you're both. If you're right. the director, you're, you're also, also the, the producer. producer. A lot. I think a lot of people don't realize that. I think a, like a lot of people. I mean, I also I think like the mainstream definitions of director and producer are really vague, and like producer is this weird, yeah. ambiguous word that that like people outside of the business don't really know what that means. Right. But then, like, if you do know what that means, in porn, you're both. Yeah. Like, I don't. Uh, I can think of one person who is actively directing who I think is not also producing their movies right i think i don't i don't actually I think know. i i think i know who you're talking probably about. is it somebody who has an unlimited budget yeah <laughs> <laughs> when you have an unlimited yeah. budget you, you can, can hire, hire somebody yeah, to, to do, do all do that all shit yeah yeah and like i have a production manager yeah but like Same. still the producer yeah. yeah you still gotta like come up with all of the it's just like, and especially because you've been in the industry for so many years, it's like all of this intrinsic knowledge that you yeah. have about locations right. and performers mm -hmm. and, and agents and all of it. All yeah, of all of it. It's actually really hard to have someone do that stuff for me because I have tried mm -hmm. to delegate some of that production work to people. Yeah. And it's really hard. Yeah. It's like insider baseball. Yeah. It's just... What is the hardest part for you in, in terms of, let's say, producing? Like, what do you, what is the biggest challenge for you? Uh, two immediate things come to mind. One is that because I'm also directing, balancing this, like, I have to book my movies a couple months in advance to get the people I want, but I don't have a script yet. Mm -hmm. And so balancing, like, booking crew and being like, we're going to make a movie. I'll tell you about it later. And then booking talent and being like, we're going to make a movie. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> <laughs> and so like doing things kind of out of order in that way and having to worry about producing while I'm doing things like trying to write a movie. Right. But then like to be more specific – Locations are so hard. It's locations. Are, I was like, when you said that, I'm like, one of, of those, my existence. one of those is locations. It's so, so hard because I just don't want to shoot at a porn house. Mm -hmm. There's so few porn houses anyway these days. Mm -hmm. And they're they're booked months in advance. Yeah, especially and now that fucking Brad Armstrong left for the goddamn yeah, Bahamas. Yeah. He had the best porn he had house. A great ha yeah, he had a great house and like a great pool. Yeah. But like... You, the porn. I feel like the most of the porn houses right now are set up to be porn houses, and so they just have a bunch of random bedrooms, and they're White not furniture. Yeah, and they're not conducive to storytelling. Yeah, and it's not like I have the art department budget to like completely redecorate Jill's house. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which, by the way, could use some redecorating. Could use some redecorating. <laughs> Um, so it's, so I have to find locations that are not your standard porn location. And then I have to be like, this is what we do. One of the really nice things about working for Erica Lust is that I can say we're making a movie for Erica Lust. And a lot of people know what that is and mm. what that means. Mm -hmm. And that has opened a lot of doors for me. When That's, I think being like, I'm making a porno would have closed a door. Yeah. Being like, I'm making a film for Erica Lust has opened one. Yeah. That makes so much sense. Because when I have to, 
apply for locations because like twisties specifically for like their treat of the month yeah. they want something that's like new and fresh yeah. and different because yeah. they want very unique concepts it's a little easier for the treat of the month solo because it is a girl by herself right. which is, is easier is so, so much easier, easier but so much, not easy. not easy no it's not but easy easier. but it is easier when it's not a penis and a vagina exactly and so i have to i have this whole spiel Mm -hmm. that I send them like I shoot high end, mm -hmm. like cinematic, artistic mm -hmm. erotica. Mm -hmm. and yes, like, the word erotica is so great. much better than the word pornography. No, nope. don't want to use People that People don't like the word pornography. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.